12th grade on Thursday morning doesn't usually look quite like this. This may seem like a toy and in our little world it may be, but it's simulating something a lot bigger than that. At Cape Hill Open High School, these students are getting ready to dive into what some say is the coolest course on campus. Getting this experience at a high school level really gives us opportunities and connections to possibly explore. This. Robotics 101 is where the playbook for these players is not a traditional textbook. It's a remotely operated vehicle or ROV. You may have seen them in movies or exploration shows, but these sci-fi toys are being used in real life to go where no man has gone before. And it's not just about the underwater robots and fun, it's about some serious research here. It helps to do missions that are just too dangerous for um, humans to do, because it's, it's just not safe to have say a diver go down underwater where the pressure is too immense to bear on a human body. That's where the robotics steps in. Researchers are using ROVs Take it slow and to dive to dangerous depths, collecting new data in locations so deep that a human cannot survive, let alone explore. In the not too distant future, oceanographers will not only be able to hear volcanic activity, but they'll be able to predict an eruption from the deepest locations in the ocean. You can't send a person down in the depths of the ocean where the temperature is very hot because you're close to the, you're getting closer and closer to the core. I will swing them out. This ROV was used in 2013 to hook up sensors, including a camera, hydrophones, and meters, to an underwater fiber optic cable system just 300 miles off the Washington, Oregon coast. And just late last week, underwater microphones picked up this movement from an underwater earthquake. It's an exploration students at Cape hope to spearhead one day. In Lewis, Denise Sawyer, WRDE Coast TV News.